everybody. Okay, so I thought that I would make this video this morning talking about uh, why I don't talk politics. Now, there's a few reasons. Number one, I'm just not a dramatic person. I don't go looking for confrontation. I can't stand confrontation. I can't stand people arguing with me about stupid crap. Nobody's gonna win in an argument. The other person is never gonna just stop what they're saying and say, oh, okay, well, I guess you're right. So there's no point in arguing with somebody over things. Sometimes you can get dragged into an argument, but most of the time I'm able to just be like, yeah, forget that, and I just walk away. I don't care about politics one way or another. I don't care anything about politics. I don't care anything about issues. I will gladly leave that for everyone else who does care because there are plenty of people in this world who care so much about all these issues and care so much about politics. And if they care that much about it, then I will trust them to make the right decision. I hate when people say to me or other people, oh, you should vote for somebody. You know, don't just not vote. Just vote for somebody even if you don't like either one of them. That, to me, is one of the most careless things you can ever do do. If you know nothing about it, don't even step in the ring. Voting for somebody just because you should vote, even if you don't care or know anything about either of the people or however many people are in the voting pool, is like putting on a blindfold and then just shooting a gun wherever. Just swinging your arm around and shooting a gun. It is just so stupid and careless. I don't talk politics with friends or family ever, ever. Because the thing is that as soon as you bring politics into it, those people treat you like you are the enemy, you always have been, and you always will be. Any hint of a friendship or who you are to them is totally out the window while you're discussing this political view. They will put you down, call you names, cuss at you, use every dirty trick in the book against you, and just turn into the most vile, evil people that you have ever met in your life, all in the name of defending this opinion they have. And it's not just that they're defending the opinion, they attack you because your opinion is not the same as their opinion. Believe me, nobody knows who I have ever wanted to be the president. Nobody knows even to this day whether I am for or against Trump. In fact, when it comes to any issues at hand, no one knows what I think about them because I don't talk about them. You know, sometimes I share uh, funny memes and things on Facebook, or I will share things that are like conspiracy theories because that stuff is kind of funny to me. But the funny thing about the internet is that people take that stuff wrong. The way that they perceive it is not always the way that it is meant. Kind of like with texting. If you're talking to somebody on the phone, they hear your voice and they know exactly what kind of a tone you're giving them. But if you're texting, you don't really know what kind of a tone is coming across. So it would be easy to take a text wrong. It's happened millions of times, <laughs> caused plenty of fights. And I mean, myself, I'll get texts sometimes and I'm like, well, what does that mean? But I'm always careful not to like jump back at the person because chances are they don't mean it in that way at all. Even something as stupid as, you know, somebody might accidentally hit caps lock and send you a message all in caps and then you think they're mad, you think they're yelling at you or bawling you out about something, and you could easily just jump right back at them and be like, well, you know what, da 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 you know? <laughs> uh, and take the whole thing out of context, and then it just causes a big problem. I'm kind of getting off the subject here, but my whole point in, in going this way was because sometimes things that I share on Facebook, people will take the wrong way, and that's actually what got me started on this whole subject was because of a meme that I had shared, and I'm not going to tell anybody what it is, but a couple of my friends who are very outspoken saw this meme and immediately took it as my personal opinion. I was called stupid, I was called dumb, I was called a bigot, and then I was told that I was sharing hate. <laughs> And this was all by a couple of guys who are supposed to be my friends. I've known them for 32 years. And rather than just knowing my sense of humor and realizing why I must have shared that, or questioning it at least, I was just attacked for posting it. 
you know, and it was taken just at face value that this is what it means and this is what I mean and this is what I'm all about. And, you know, it was just, it was crazy. By the end of the conversation, we were talking again, normal, like, you know, normal people that we are to each other, you know, so apparently friends, I guess. <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about. You know, when you get to talking politics, whether it's with strangers, family, or friends, all bets are off. And I'm just not the kind of person who likes to be talked down to and then told I'm your friend at the end of it. You know, if you don't agree with something that I say, feel, think, in my opinion, that's your problem. Like I said a couple days ago when I was talking about internet stupidity, how people will come on and talk about like a movie or something and they'll give their opinion, and then they will say, what do you guys think about my opinion? That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I am not the kind of person who cares what anybody thinks about my opinion. That's why it is my opinion. Because it is completely up to me to feel that way and to think that way, and I have the freedom to do that. I'm not asking your permission to have that opinion. I'm not asking your permission to feel that way. That's just how I feel. That is my opinion. And if you don't like it, then you just don't like it. You know, too many people go through life worrying about what other people think of them. And that is just not me. I don't worry about what other people think of me. I don't care what other people think of me. If I do something that other people would think is embarrassing. I just don't care. That doesn't mean I'm gonna go out there and act like a total fool. <laughs> I do have some self-respect. But I will never feel like, oh, I can't be seen with you because of this or that, because of how these people over here might feel. Chances are you're never gonna see those people again in your life. And even if you do, who cares? Are you going to bed with them at night? Are you waking up with them in the morning? You know, I left home 25 years ago. I don't have to ask anybody permission to do anything. I do exactly what I want. I think exactly what I want. I feel exactly how I want. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. And that is your problem. <sighs> Cherry Coke is delicious. Cue all the people who come on here and tell me that Diet Pop is horrible. You shouldn't drink it. Well, if you say so. Here's to you. <sighs> Seriously, though, I don't mean this to come across like a negative thing. I'm probably radiating negative energy right now because I'm defensive. I'm defensive about other people trying to tell me what I should and shouldn't do, how I should or shouldn't feel, or what my opinion should be. If you told me what my opinion was, it wouldn't be my opinion. So in the end, this is why I don't talk politics. There's never actually an end to the argument. Talking politics is for people who enjoy that confrontation, who enjoy that argument, who enjoy that back and forth and trying to prove their point when the other person's never going to say, yes, you proved it to me. And that's just not what I'm about. I'm about having fun, enjoying life, avoiding confrontation, living my life to the fullest, making it the best it can be, and making the most out of it for what I want, not what anybody else wants. And certainly not what anybody else thinks I should want it to be. I guess that's it. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to talk about that tonight to get it off my chest, and also because from time to time people will send me messages asking me, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? 99% of the time I'm not going to give you an answer to that. I'm not going to tell you what I think about it. Like I said, my family doesn't even know whether or not I approve of Trump being our president. And honestly, I'm more concerned about how long it's going to take me to hook up this Atari over here because I want to play some Frogger. <laughs> That doesn't mean I'm a bad person. That doesn't mean I don't care what's going on in the world. That doesn't mean that I don't feel there are things that need change and need discussion. I'm just not the one to do it. It's not something I care about. It's not in my blood. I'm not passionate about it. And for that reason, I will leave it 100% to the people who are. Guys, wherever you're waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward, and let's make this world a better place. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.